guys, can you hear me okay on the uh, audio? Go on to the 60 inch tonight, Mr. Ray. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I'm just doing the 11, Rasa 11, Keith. So, can you hear me okay on the audio? Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I checked myself later. The volume actually was pretty low. I hope you guys was able to hear me. So I turned off the background music just to turn it back on. Hey, Lamar, how are you? Yeah, it seems like it's so cloudy right now. So... It's not like a perfect uh, scenario. So I'm taking, as I was uh, putting the putting it over there. Yeah, it's the color camera ZWO071. And I'm using Celestron Rasa 11. And also, I'm trying to show on the DSLR, so this is a 24mm lens, so if I take a capture of it, it is going to, I mean you can barely see it. On the 24 mm, it does show, yeah, see that? Those are the clouds that we are dealing with. Hey, Sean, how are you? Hey, Alex. Manish, how are you? Great. Good morning. Or good evening. Sean is saying, nice to see the comet ray. Can't see it there yet due to the trees yeah i'm also fighting i mean i can show you i'm showing you right now below the cloud if i can zoom in a little bit see this is the comet that you are seeing so below the cloud this is the comet so you can actually barely see uh, Teresa is asking, is it brighter two nights ago? Uh, no, it's just cloudy. So, so this is the other view that I have. Let it come on the stream. Yeah, so this is the other view. So this is um, a bit close up view. Hey Skywatcher Dainas, how are you? Shutter opened 27 years ago, yep. Yeah, Teresa, it is uh, pretty cloudy. Uh, I'll take another snapshot at it. Let me show you guys the clouds that we are fighting with. Yeah, that's why I was hesitating to go live today. Yeah. It's 
that many clouds. Hey Teresa, I only have binoculars. Yeah, I guess that's all you need for most of the astrophotography. If you want to just view it, binos are the best. It's dealing with the clouds as you can see the clouds are kind of taking over yeah you can barely see you can barely see the comet guys yeah, it's going to rain tomorrow and uh, the only time the green stuff that you see is the is the comet in the middle <laughs> so i guess uh ray don't you carry a can of cloud no i don't i don't have a way to get rid of them Honestly, um, yeah, usually they go away, but uh, yeah, the mount is still tracking, so I'll leave it on. It's been pretty cloudy view. Apologize for the way it shows up, but at least it does show up something. Better than not able to see it. It's not too bad. Unless you guys have any questions, I'll... Uh, it's pretty windy as well, so I'll... Uh, Turn the music on and I'll turn off the microphone. So folks, we will wait for a few minutes and if the clouds are not going away, I'll stop streaming, okay? I'll stop streaming if the clouds is uh, like you know if they stay I guess we got a glimpse of it it's not too bad we got our fair share for today Ray what direction is it heading in it is uh, 
city is currently in the west direction so right below the big dipper if you have a clear sky i i mean face of the sky definitely uh, manish wait and talk to us yeah uh, i don't mind at all um so i'm actually manish outside under a tree putting my telescopes and equipment so if it gets cloudier than this it takes i don't know 15 minutes to move everything inside so yeah i definitely run faster than i should <laughs> yeah definitely thank you yeah yeah if you face up the sky if you look uh, west direction right below the big dipper between the big dipper and the horizon you should be able to see it please explain your exposure time gb ray greg is asking uh on the shark cap greg i usually use like exposure time like 500 plus milliseconds like 500 milliseconds that's more than enough i go gain around 564 or 510 uh that's more than sufficient for live viewing otherwise it gets way too bright i do uh go down to the what we call the the histogram and push it down to the right so that the background gets a little darker that's for the live viewing but if i do on the sequence generator pro i usually do 5 to 7 seconds exposure that's more than enough 5 seconds or 7 seconds on a color camera with the barder ir uv filter and uh the gain on the zwo camera is gain 90 and offset 20 I think that's uh let me pull up the screen for you here. So I'm just showing you the setting over here. Yeah, so typically I keep it as like gain 90 on the 071. So that gives you an idea. So guys, uh it is not going to get any better. looks like it's too cloudy so if you guys don't mind i'll uh, turn off the stream hey alma how are you i'll come back to the stream on thursday thursday the 23rd because it's going to rain tomorrow i believe if it is any clear weather you will see me tomorrow if it's not clear i won't come same is true for wednesday and thursday i guess i'm seeing wednesday uh, sorry thursday so sure yeah thank you all guys and uh, thanks for coming onto the stream and i will try to show you live if it gets any better so tuesday wednesday thursday one of these days thank you all Hey if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel thank you have a good night or good morning